Hey, entreconverts, did you know that as much as 83.6% of people who make it to your checkout page still won't end up buying? According to some studies, a long and confusing checkout process is one of the top five reasons people don't complete the process, accounting for roughly 18% of the abandoned. Let me put that into context for you. If you get 10,000 people to your checkout page every year, roughly 1,500 of them will leave without giving you any moolah, primarily because of the checkout process you have in place. If you're talking about a $100 product, that's $150 grand you can kiss goodbye. Thankfully, Entreport allows us to use progressive forms to break up the steps and theoretically help to combat car abandonment on our pages. But what about those who fear things like load times or putting the checkout into pop-ups will negate the conversion bump or worse, lower it even more? Well, that's where something like ClickFix Shortcode Engine comes in. Check out these two examples of multi-step forms built completely in Entreport. The first is from a client who wanted to test if breaking up the flow would lift conversions on its free plus shipping offer. The steps are simply text elements with icons that were duplicated three times. That allowed me to change the colors to simulate progression from one to the, to the other. Then I put all the fields and other elements where I wanted them to go and began using short codes to show and hide things based on which step someone was using the if anchor shortcode trigger for visibility. The second example is just one I whipped up for all of those X click funnels fans out there. You should recognize a layout from Russell's free plus shipping funnels. This page was done the same way, except for, except for that the step tabs at the top actually were made in Photoshop. The principle is the same though. The prospect fills out the fields for step one, then clicks the button to proceed to step two, where they, where they can provide their payment details. The only disadvantage I can see to doing forms like this would be that the information from the steps before they click the submit button isn't actually being captured. But there you have it, a quick and easy solution for any of you who want to split test multi-step forms on your checkout pages to see if it gets you a lift.